Hello, friends. Welcome back from spring break 2023. I hope you found some rest and rejuvenation in that what was for me a very welcome week. I want to share with you a brief introduction to the week and make some suggestions about how you might move forward with the assignment for this week. Be sure to check out the information and directions on how to create and present your product, your presentation. You'll find that in the module for week 10. Its title is MSM Modern Spiritual Masters Presentation Guide. Last time we visited uh, Thomas Merton and I shared with you one way of making this presentation. If you haven't visited it yet, it would be helpful for you if you took the time before going any further this week to watch that PowerPoint, narrated PowerPoint presentation. It's intended to be a, a kind of model. Although you have great latitude about making this happen, you don't have to do a PowerPoint, but you do have to include um, what the guide says, and that's what I tried to do with the PowerPoint. This week we turn to the life of another more contemporary master, Oscar Romero, Archbishop of El Salvador. There are many observations I can make about him. Of course, I'll leave most of that to you for your own personal discovery of and learning from uh, this man, this master. A title master, I'm pretty sure he would reject. Whatever else he was and whatever title, titles and positions he held, he was a humble follower of Jesus and a servant of the church. What I do want to point out um, may be the most obvious thing, but sometimes the most obvious thing is worth pointing out. Oscar Romero was an archbishop. Why does this matter? Well, I think it matters because it helps you and me, helps us to understand that God works at all levels, in all places, in all conditions, with all people. The educated, the wealthy, the positionally powerful, as well as the opposite of all of those. Um, this gives substance to the often quoted statement that God is no respecter of persons that we find in Acts 10, where Peter is commanded to, by God, to go outside of just about every aspect of his comfort zone you can imagine and enter into a relationship with persons whom he, as he says in the Acts passage, which you might also want to read, um, are not clean people to him. We often use that phrase, God is no respecter of persons, to mean inclusive of all the undervalued persons of the world, but I think it has a wider meaning that takes us through the whole gamut of class, high and low class, middle class, wealth, rich, poor, and in between, age, young, old, powerful or not powerful. We also read that God looks at the heart. That's in 1 Samuel 16, 7. In other words, God considers the character of a person rather than any other attribute or more than any other attribute. The immediate followers of Jesus included fishermen, tax collectors, doctors, women. This particular passage uh, from Samuel, 1 Samuel, is... Um, this particular quotation is said at the time of selecting the king to follow Saul. One after another, the apparently qualified sons of Jesse were dismissed by Samuel. There seemed to be no one left. Samuel asked, is this all? Well, no, Jesse says, there's, there's one more, the youngest. His father considered him so inconsequential that he didn't even bother to call him to stand before Samuel, yet he's the one God chose. 
the one we are told was a man after God's own heart, considered to be the greatest king of Israel. Very human king, but nonetheless a great follower of God. As you study the life and teaching of Oscar Romero, look to his heart, look to his character, discover his reluctant journey to power. Consider how he maintains his humility even as he rises to power to rival the government. In fact, as we move the rest of this semester from master to master, so to speak, we want to look at the heart of all of them and ask, what are the commonalities that we see in the life and teachings of these spiritual leaders? I am looking forward to see how you engage this essential auto, I mean, this essential biographical study of some deeply, deeply important and spiritual men and women. See you on the journey.